Hey you guys, Laura here, and I am back with you guys to talk to you about some foam rolling exercises that you can do to help to improve your shoulder range of motion, to improve mobility in your shoulders, in your thoracic spine, and we will be utilizing the foam roller today. So one of the reasons why this is so important and why I really spend a lot of time on that foundation of building mobility in your body is because the more mobile we are, that's gonna help us generate more power for whether you're climbing, um, I'm a big rock climber in case you didn't know that, but when you're climbing or when you're lifting, um, if you're a swimmer or anything like that, specifically talking about you know, sports that require upper body movement, uh, it's gonna help you generate more force, more power within whatever it is that you are doing. But also a lot of times when we have restricted mobility, that's gonna make our muscles and our bones and our joints just work a little bit differently. And so we'll have muscle compensations and that leads to asymmetries and discomfort and pain because stuff starts working in a way that it wasn't intended to work. So I'm gonna take you through a short series that uses the foam roller and um, let's go ahead and grab one and you can join me or you can go ahead and watch me, put it on again and join me on the replay. Either way, see you on the mat. For this series that we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be laying down on it. So you wanna make sure that it's long enough so that you can be on one side with your tailbone and then be with your head supported on the other side here. So that is really the only thing that I'm looking for, it doesn't need to, doesn't matter if it's smooth, doesn't matter if it has ridges or anything like that. I am using a smooth one. If you were using a ridgy one, you would get a little bit of self-myofascial release as we're going through the foam roller. But like I said, that was, the series is intended for gaining mobility through the shoulder blades and opening up the upper back. So not necessarily to have the, the ridges. So I am just gonna go ahead and get onto the foam roller the way that I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna come down to one end, bend my knee, kind of just line this up with the center of my tailbone. And then I wanna make sure that I come down with control and I want my head to be supported by the foam roller. I'm gonna shimmy down a little bit. That feels a little bit better, good. All right, and so as I'm here, my feet are about hip width apart. That just makes me a little bit more stable than if I were together together. I have more surface area to balance here. And then I also wanna make sure that the foam roller is lined up with the center of my back. First thing that I want you to do, belly bracing in. You don't necessarily have to have your whole back against here, but you do wanna be having your rib cage pulling in, your belly pulling in to help support the spine as we're going to be moving through the arms. I want you to take your hands upwards towards the sky. They're going to turn to palms to face each other. We're just going to go into a pec stretch here. So you're going to take the hands open to the sides. You're going to stretch through the front side of the chest. Your hands don't touch the ground. And then exhale, just close them right back in above your heart. And down they go. The foam roller will give you feedback as to whether you're using one side a little bit more than the other, or whether one side is moving more quickly than the other. So this is an opportunity to kind of start to gather that information because maybe that's the side that you dominate a lot of your movements, a lot of your power with. It's a good opportunity to learn a little bit about your body. It feels super delicious here as I'm laying down on my back. I can feel that my back is opening up. I was doing a lot of computer work earlier today. So it's nice to get this to not only stretch my pecs, but also to feel my upper back opening as gravity is helping to just like settle me onto the foam roller here. I'm gonna do two more here. Remember your belly is still pulling into that back. And you kind of imagine that you're shoulder blades, they're kind of doing the same thing that your arms are doing. They're hugging around your rib cage and they're coming back towards your spine. Awesome, okay. So after your 10 here, I want to do one arm at a time at the physical therapy clinic that I used to work at. We used to call this one toy soldier. We're gonna take one arm upwards and then I'm gonna take it right back home to meet. One arm goes up, I'm alternating arms here, and then it comes back home to meet. So here, we're moving the shoulder blades in an up to down fashion before we were going 
from front to back. You think protraction, retraction. And now here we're going into flexion, extension. Belly into back here. And I'm really just trying to bring awareness to what's trying to move here. Is it really my shoulder blades that's moving my upper arm bone? Or is my back trying to arch off of the foam roller as I move my arm? Because if my back starts to arch, that lets me know that it's not the muscle system around the shoulder blade that's moving my arm, it's my spine. And that could be a reason why you might have upper back pain. I'm gonna do one more with my right, and then one more with my left. Awesome. Now we're gonna do both of them together. So here, once again, you wanna see, can you be even through both arms? So sometimes I like to take my clients and hold something into their hand, like a TheraBand or a bar, so that they can have that tactile feedback to see whether they're moving evenly through right to left side. Then also, when you come back, you still wanna be mindful, is your chest pressing upwards towards the sky? Because that's going to let you know, once again, that that back is arching versus you want to go for shoulder blade movement. Feel like your shoulder blades are moving forward and, or sorry, upward and downward on your back to move the arm bone up and down. We're going to go for 10 once again here. Nice job, you guys. Okay, now from here, we're going to turn our palms to face away from us. And you, om you can make a fist if you want to. This one's called boxing. You think that your elbows are gonna come down. I would try to keep it above the foam roller. Don't let those elbows touch the ground. And then exhale, press upwards and away. Elbows down to the ground. And then you're gonna punch both arms upwards and away. So we're working the three dimensions that the shoulder blades move in. So it goes up and down from front to back, and from side to side. You wanna make sure that you have healthy shoulder blade movement in all three of those dimensions, cause that's gonna help your arm move in space without compromising your neck or that upper back. Three more here. Your belly still keeps pulling into that back. And last one. Awesome. Okay, to come off, I want you to flip to one side carefully with control. Woo! And we're gonna use the foam roller for one more thing here. So I'm gonna face you guys, and I'm gonna take my hand so that it's right in front of my shoulder. I'm gonna use this foam roller to help uh, keep my knee in alignment with my hip bone. And also here you'll see in the movement, I like it because it provides hips are staying stacked here as I go into what's called a thoracic rotation. You can put a pillow underneath, um, and I actually would suggest that. I don't have a pillow and I'm not gonna get up to get one. Um, or if you wanted to, I suppose you could use your arm. I'm gonna take that back. Go grab a pillow, don't be like me. <laughs> take your hands right in front of your shoulders so they can be palm to palm. And we're gonna take our hand, we're gonna open it upwards towards the ceiling and you want your gaze to follow your hand here. And we're trying to see how much can we open the book without our foam roller moving. And then we're gonna exhale, close it right back in. So before we were working on shoulder blade movement and here what we're really trying to focus on is that thoracic rotation because the more rotation that we get within our spine, that's also gonna help to loosen up some of the muscles that connect our, our whole upper back area. So I was gonna say connect our spine to our shoulder blade, but they don't really necessarily connect there, but a lot of the muscles within our upper back, they connect to the shoulder blade, to the shoulder, to the rib cage, to the spine. So there's a lot that could get locked up there in that small area. And so 
as we're moving the shoulder blades in those three dimensions that we did a little bit earlier, and then we start to rotate here, that's gonna really help to loosen up your lats, your muscles around your spine, your shoulder blade muscles, like your lower traps, middle traps, rhomboid area. It really just helps to get more blood flow in, more oxygen to your muscles, more vitamins to your muscles, so that they can be happy and move and just support you in your movement. One more here. Nice. Now so that I can stay facing you, facing the camera, I'm just gonna flip around here. My bottom leg, by the way, was straight, if I didn't say that. So my hand, once again, is gonna be facing right in front of my shoulder head. I'm not gonna be raising it up here. It's literally right in front of my gaze. I'm gonna use my knee right on top of the foam roller so that I can stack up my hips, make sure that my spine is in alignment here, shoulder in line with my hip bone. And hand to hand, I open to the sky. Oh, this side feels tighter on me. And you wanna make sure that that movement comes from your spine versus from your neck. So you really wanna make sure that eye gaze follows your hand gaze and that you're not leading. See how my head looked backwards with my hands like here? I wanna make sure that it stays within the center of my vision so that I truly am giving, getting that motion through my spine, my thoracic spine versus my cervical spine. Oh, this side, I can feel myself cheat a little bit more. I'm gonna have to really concentrate on pulling my belly in and keeping my hip bones stacked. Maybe I'm gonna push a little bit more into the foam roller to stabilize an anchor. Yeah, I just got less to go on this side. Feedback, information, it lets you know how you can structure your workouts. So maybe I can spend a little bit more time with workouts, um, with exercise movements where I'm twisting to the left side and do a couple extra reps on my left side versus on my right side because it can use a little bit of love for that rotational aspect. And it could also be that maybe I'm dominating a lot of my movements on that left side, making it a little locked up. Last two here. Awesome job, you guys. I also have one of my favorites where you are laying over the foam roller going into that thoracic extension. I will clip the video for those ones in the description down below or you can gra grab onto that little eye graphic in the corner. But these exercises, you guys, they're not necessarily exercises in that they're gonna get you all sweaty um, and build up that tone, but what it does, like I was mentioning at the beginning, is that it really allows you to get more movement through the joints, through the muscles, and it just allows it to have, you think of a rubber band, like the more that you pull it, then it's gonna be able to generate more force to go further. And the same thing is gonna happen with your muscles. The more space and length it has, the more force it can generate to take you through your day-to-day -day movements, your sports movements, whether you're a climber, a swimmer, or what, whatever. Maybe you just wanna throw your luggage up onto the top bin of the, when you're traveling. It's gonna, the more mobile you are, it's gonna help you on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that I know that you tried it out and you found it to be helpful. And if you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. Or you can also always find me on social media. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, and I am in my stories, on my posts, in my DMs daily. And I would love to hear from you. If you're not subscribed to my page, go ahead and click that button, ring the bell and subscribe so you can keep learning about your body and learn how to move well so that you can be, you know, enjoying your life. The more mobile you are, the more flexible you are, the more in a alignment your body is, your body is going to be happy and it's going to be going towards that journey of being pain-free. See you later, you guys.